Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and I have another really pretty kit um, to show you. I'm really excited about this one. This one is going to be using the um, Mariposa papers from DC WV Die Cuts with a View. Um, and I'm just really excited with how this one's coming out. So far, I've only got my cover done on this one, um, but it's going to have the black flip envelopes inside like I showed you in my What's Up Wednesday this last week. And I'm just, I'm so excited with how this one's coming out. I let out a big squeal the other day when I was in a Joann's that I don't usually shop at. I'm really fortunate that we have several in the area, but it's pretty much the only place that I find the die cuts with a view in any quantity. But they had, and it's the first time I'd seen them, haven't seen them anywhere else since, they had the four and a half by six and a half inch pads, which are perfect for minis. I was so excited, so I bought all the pads that they had. So I have a limited quantity in the number of kits that I have and I have, I've looked for it and haven't found it in any other, um, of the Joann's and I can't find it online either at joann's.com. So, um, but it's been a super popular line and it's probably the prettiest one I think they've ever done. So anyway, I want to show you what all is in the kit. Like I said, here is a cover of what I've got going so far. Um, so it's got the four and a half by six and a half inch sheets, um, and there are um, 24 of them. So let me real super fast. These are all single sided, and you just are going to need to trim them down to four inches wide, rather than using the larger, the eight inch or the um, 12 inch square sizes. So this is the one I used on my cover. These are so pretty. They really are pretty. They really are kind of reminiscent, almost of. The Webster's pages. I love that butterfly right there. And then I've just added some really fun um, butterfly stuff because a lot of you know I love butterflies. That one pretty. And this is all just scaled down from the larger stuff. So it, it works much better because the 12 by 12, mm, not so much for some minis. Um, I thought about doing the 8 by 8s again. It was kind of weird um, how that was going to cut up. So when I found these, like I said, I was in the middle of a Joann's and I let out a big old squeal. It's like, huh? embarrass myself, but you know, who cares? <laughs> I like the bird cages on here too. This is one of my favorite papers in the whole thing. And I love this one too. They're all gorgeous. They really are absolutely gorgeous. So there's 24 of the four and a half by six and a half inch sheets. Then I also got the DCWB, I always have to think about it before I say it, um, the coordinating cardstock. Um, and now these are four by sixes, and there's three of the sparklies in the gold, the cream, but it's got that green, kind of iridescent sparkle, and a green. And then there's the metallics. There's a blue, a green, a brown, an orange, a magenta, kind of a reddish pink, a red. And then there's three of the cardstock that there's four by sixes. Oops, drop that one. There's a red, a burgundy, and a brown, or kind of a cranberry. And then I added a black to the, because I didn't have a black one in there. And this is that sanding stuff, so it's red. If you sand the black, it comes out the red. So then there's an orange, a pumpkin, a pink, a kind of saffron, kind of a dusty pink, a blue, a darker green, and the sagey green. And these all coordinate. It's so pretty with... I usually like to coordinate my own, but these just really... I had them all pulled and then decided to do to go this route. So then let me show you what all the other goodies. I'm so excited. Um, of course, I have fibers. There's reds and sage and turquoise and copper and green and gold and some orange just coordinates really nicely with the papers the ribbons there's a red there's a aqua turquoise it's a good thing that's the in color this year because i just love it and it's this is velvet and it's got this brown stitching along the edge it's a black satin there's a gold metallic there's kind of this yummy just turquoisey bluish yummy yummy um, the sage with brown and then this orange satin and then this wider green kind of crimply and that's what I used on 
how I like to do this tied binding on these. I think this looks so cute. Oh, and somebody did ask I, how I attach these ribbons. They are stuck down underneath the paper, and I use some of the super tacky tape um, to stick them down, and it's actually stuck down underneath there as well. So kill two birds with one stone and answer that question. I get so many questions, and I wish I could answer each and every single one of them. I try to get to as many of them as I can. Um, you're going to have two die cuts. Um, in a metallic gold, and I use those on my cover. There's some cream colored braid. There is, I think this is eight or nine inches of the Tim Holtz film strip. And then the Seven Gypsies um, tape in the pink and yellow. There's a foot of that. There's a um, Tattered Angels frame, one of those cool frames, and I, that's what. A, I used um, here on my cover here. I just glimmer misted it. There's four um, little journaling spots that you can add. A green one, a dark blue, light blue, pink. Then there's the two feather butterflies with the gold glitter on them that I used again on my cover here and here. Then there's a couple of three-dimensional stickers. And you'll get two. One's larger, one's a little bit smaller. And these are kind of moth-like, and they have the acetate with the, the sparklies um, on them. And then, oh, these stickers. I love these stickers. Love, love. And you're going to get four of these stickers. There's the little one. Oops. And these are going to vary from the kit, but they're all gorgeous. And there's a little one, a uh, medium-small a medium and a large, and each kit has those. I use the medium one, the medium large one, and I put it inside the frame, and that's what I put on my cover. But love those. Out of the same company, um, you're getting two tags, and everybody's getting these same tags. This large one with this blue. I love this butterfly. I love butterflies, and a small round one with an orange one. I just, ugh, I love butterflies. Um, there's two Manila tags. There is a, um, I keep hitting the camera, I'm sorry, a recollection swirl, some bling. You can see it there with my hand behind her a little bit better. And then speaking of bling, you're getting some, I'm trying not to get it in the glare of the light, uh, some cream, some green, some turquoise, and some orange. You're also getting two little butterfly charms. There's a larger one and the small one. You're also getting a fragment. As you saw on my um, previous envelope, I used those, I hung those on the cover. A uh, bunch of brads, because I like using those with the flowers. There's some paper clips. There's a red one, a metallic one, a blue one, and a pink one. There's a couple of Odage uh, stickers. They are sore, and everybody's getting the same ones. They are sore and live. This seemed appropriate. Then there's a whole bunch of silk flowers. There's two orange silk flowers. There's six of these bluey violet ones, two red ones, and then a handful of um, prima flowers, an orange, a cream, no, oh, two creams, large and a small, a turquoise, and then one of their patterned ones in those very. And there's also a couple of these sagey foliage pieces um, that are in there. So that's all those goodies. So, and who knows? Oh, also it's got the um, black envelopes, the kind that have, and these are called policy, the type of envelope. This is, this is called a policy envelope. So if you're um, looking for those, you can go online and just Google policy envelopes and you'll find these end flippy doodle ones. You're also getting two of these Mary Engelbright shaped um, chipboards. Very cute. Got them at Michael's. Um, and how I did on mine is I painted the top edge and the bottom edge and I just have a three and a half inch strip of paper in the center because trying to cut around that shape, not the most fun. You can see it even better on the back where I haven't done anything. Is I've just painted that and then attached the paper in the center section. That way I didn't have to fit it all around with that. And I did that in, um, I, I actually used a dauber and copper and then I sprayed it with some tattered angels in um, brick and um, patina to give it kind of that aged metallic look. And then it's got the six blue um, 
flowers, some of those die cuts, and then the two butterflies. And that's just how I did my cover. I just like the shape. It just kind of had kind of a, a regalness to it. So anyway, so those, those are included in there. Um, and you'll be getting six of the black envelopes. So anyway, I just went way over my time, so hopefully this will still go. But uh, check out my Etsy at uh, followingthepapertrail.etsy.com if you're interested in this one, and we'll see you soon.